Hi, welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers, Friday, October 28, 2011. I'm Millie Stegall in the United States, and I'm filling in for Dave. And we start today with a time of praise. We thank you, dear Father, that you are the God who hears and answers prayer. So, Heavenly Father, we come to you now in confidence, presenting our prayers and requests to you. Thank you for hearing and answering us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Wasn't that fantastic? Praise our God. Praise Him that hears our prayers and petitions. We come now to a series of prayers from around the world. For the unemployed, the imprisoned, those in need of healing, and finally, prayers for those affected by the earthquake in Turkey this week. Let us continue praying. Lord, we are wonderfully made, and you have given us each many talents. Draw us out into ever truer images of ourselves. We pray for the unemployed and the unemployable and all seeking new jobs, for those looking to fill or create new positions within their businesses, for those who have no home of their own. And as autumn turns to winter, we pray for those who sleep rough, either through choice or because the world has abandoned them. By name, we pray for Lucy and those who love and support them. We invite the Lord to pray in our hearts as we repeat the following words, either out loud or quietly. Take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, thank you that you are a God of second chances. We thank you for forgiving and taking us back during the times of our lives when we strayed and were disobedient. We are so sorry for disappointing loved ones in our lives and for disappointing you. Please forgive us. Please encourage us and keep us steady. We want to stay on the right course with the right attitudes and the right desires. Bless you, Lord, for your loving kindness, your grace, and your mercy. We praise you for who you are. Today I pray for all those who are imprisoned. Some people are imprisoned for breaking the law, some for their faith, and others are imprisoned by sin. I pray that wherever and whatever the prison, your Holy Spirit will be there to enlighten, bring conviction and repentance, comfort, wisdom, and help. I pray that lessons will be learned and that prisoners will find freedom in you. I pray for fresh starts and new life. I pray for miraculous testimonies that point people to Jesus. And I want to pray for every person in prison who feels lonely. Please be their sun and their shield. Help them when they cannot help themselves. Provide happiness and sunshine in their lives, warmth and love, compassion and companionship. I pray for your protection from all harm and evil, from dark moods and negative thoughts. I lift up these people and ask that you, Almighty God, will lift them up too. I hope and pray they will see your hand upon their lives and that they will trust in you. Bless their faith. And bless our faith, dear God. And I thank you for our Savior, in whose name I pray. Amen. Father, we lift before you these people who are in need of a healing touch. Kathy, Chrissy, Denise, Hannah, Claire, Joy, and Donna. Give comfort to them. Heal their sickness. And give wisdom to the medical staff treating them. We pray also for the family of Doug, who died this week. We pray for them in their grief and ask that they be comforted. Lord, we pray for Charlene. We ask that you would empower her this week so that she can tackle the difficult situations in our life. Thank you for her faith in you. We ask that you make her very aware of your presence this week. We also pray for Hannah, Guide her through the difficult paths of life and make her aware of your will in her life. 
Although there's so much going on in our life at the moment, we pray that you can give her some time to just be still and know that you are God. And we pray for Donna. Lord, we ask that you put your hand of protection over her and her son. Lord, be ever present in her situation. Guide her, walk with her, and protect her. Open the eyes of our husband so that he might see you and guide him in all that he does this week. Protect their marriage, Lord. Give them time to share and love, and in those times of testing, give them the power to respond with grace and forgiveness. We pray for anyone else listening who might be having troubles that have remained unspoken. Bless these people, Lord, so that they might glorify you. We ask these prayers in Jesus' glorious name. Amen. On the 23rd of October, another earthquake hit. This time it was Turkey. We almost come to accept that these um, disasters will almost be frequently shown through our television screens and on our internet channels and we become to become almost desensitised to the pain and the suffering that these people have to endure when these natural disasters occur. But there are people behind these and this is what somebody said as their grandchild was brought out of the rubble. I am so excited. What can I say? Let God help them. As for his other grandmother, Sevim Yijit, said as the infant was rescued. She was watching her grandchild, her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law's other mother being rescued from the rubble. So Lord, may we echo these words of this grandmother who saw her family rescued. We thank you for the enablement of rescue services, the simple fact that we can see and share through today's medium of media. Keep hope alive as they work unfailingly in Turkey. Comfort those whom are lost. Bring those lonely and sad to know your love and grace. Show us across the globe how to respond in love and care. You are the almighty conductor of people's hearts, minds and hands. In Christ's name, Amen. As the Apostle Paul prayed to, for the Ephesian church, let us close with this prayer. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church, by Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.